I took action on workload because a number of staff were leaving the teaching profession to pursue opportunities outside education. When you delve deeper, often the reason was due to work-life balance. My job is to make sure we retain staff and we needed to change something to make sure workload and work-life balance was right. We shouldn't see change as just an event, something where we just tick a box and say that's it, workload reduced. We need to see change as a process. The Teacher Workload Reduction Toolkit is a collection of tools and resources created by the profession itself for the profession to move things along and the toolkit helps us guide our way through each step of that process. In terms of impact, um, we've noticed that staff turnover has reduced. We think this is partly due to that staff have the opportunity to feedback. So any new initiative, there was an opportunity to trial it and then release the final model. It's not a done to approach, it's a done move. We do not want our teachers spending the whole of their Sunday afternoons buried in books when they need to be in front of children on Monday morning and they need to be feeling fulfilled, they need to be feeling the freshest. Leaders have a duty of care to all of their teachers to make sure that we're all setting realistic boundaries. I would recommend the toolkit to other head teachers. It has had a huge impact on our staff recruitment and retention. I always ask that question at interview, why choose Bar Beacon? Nine times out of ten the answer is the 46 things you advertise on your website of how you're tackling workload really attracts participants to the job. I've been teaching for 15 years but I nearly didn't make it past five because I was that teacher who was up until two o'clock in the morning planning lessons, marking and doing everything else but we owe it to that next generation of teachers who will be even better than us to make sure that they know there is a different way.